welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quickums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Tales of Berseria. We are in the Fens of Nog. Our expedition has returned, and we are about to embark on some other adventure. Our scout ship has returned. But first, the scout ship must return. Which it did. Show them how I freed pirates tie their shoes. We don't have shoes, Captain, or First Mate, or Skipper, wherever you are. We have boots. That's That's fair. I guess we could set sail for, yeah, that place if we really wanted to. But I think we were coming back here to maybe do something. Ha! Huh? I see, you'll be away with him for a while then. Yes, to see a doctor about his fevers. You've seen 20 or more already, right? Well, I hope this one is a good one. I... I do, too. Are you staying? We're known for our home-like hospitality. Uh, nope. Uh, I guess. Oh, creepy. Uh-huh. Sight. Did you need something? No, not really. As you say. Why aren't you training with two swords? This is how I've always trained. 10,000 practice swings a day since I was a kid. I just wanted a single good swipe at Shigure. So I swung and swung, and eventually just naturally got to this point. That's uh, incredible. Okay. Not really. I need to be prepared to face Shigure at any moment. But I've been thinking I should up it to 100,000 swings. A day? 100,000? Do you have any idea how much time that'll take? No. Nah. Even if you did one swing a second, you couldn't do that many in one day. Oh? But ten swings a second would do the trick? Rokuro... Even still, I know it would take more than a hundred thousand swings to be a match for Shigure. Not with one sword or with two. And you keep doing it, despite knowing it's pointless? That seems a little odd. A little bit! I'm trying to defeat an undefeatable adversary. The whole damned idea is daft, as you put it. Yeah. All I can do is recognize the fact and give it my best shot. That's fair. Well, that's one way of looking at it. If only I could figure out how to stay up all night and still feel rested. Now there's a challenge I can't beat. That's fair. You need to go to bed. A lack of sleep will get you killed faster than a lack of practice. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I'll do that. Isn't she trying to kill Artorias, who's unkillable in and uh, in and of himself? So I feel like she's got the same kind of goal in mind. Okay, well that was a, a thing that we did. No, I, I don't... <sighs> okay. Where's the brat? Child, where are you? Ooh. Hmm. Where is he? Ah, uh, damn. Didn't we have more? I guess not. Alright, well, we're gonna set sail for something. I'm slightly confused, but... I mean, how is that different than... All the other times that I've done anything ever. I, I could have sworn we were collecting stuff for the guy's potion to save him. But he didn't believe it would work so he was just going to like leave. But he actually left? I mean like how are we... I should have probably read what he said there. I'm sorry guys and gals. Uh, I need a wife. You and me both. Uh, d Dad, are you seriously thinking about getting married again at your age? Sorry about that. So yeah. That's, you know, kind of a thing that went down. Sort of. So the kid's just gone, I, I guess, or supposedly gone, or will be going. Well, I guess we have nowhere else to go but to Lionel, whatever. All right, do we have it? Do we actually find any of the other ones? No. So we still have some places to go, people to see, creatures to condemn to an eternity of fiery torment. We'll get there one day. All right. Enough of this whole walking thing. It's time to float. Float above the ground on the board of doom. Oh, 
Oh, Benwick. Hey, how can I help you? Well, we need to go to a place. Huh. Oh, this is weird. We need to go to the E. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I totally missed it. We need to go to Lionel. Lionel. Lionel Richie. No, not that. It's fine. Onward! Put, 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 Isn't the Von Eltia just beautiful? Well, tell me about Lionel Island. So much for the ghost ships. Should we expect another welcome party waiting for us again? No. I had the Bloodwings spread a rumor that we were raiding an Abbey compound far, far from here. As far as plans go, that's better than nothing. <laughs> All this cloak and dagger. Give me a good old frontal assault any day. Exactly. First mate, sir. There's a ship drifting ahead of us. A ghost ship? It's an Abbey ship. Oh. Their flag. It's a distress signal. Understood. Commence approach. Are you actually going to help an enemy ship? Maybe. A ship signaling distress has neither allies nor enemies. That's a code all seafarers abide by. It's an obvious trap. Not even pirates would use a distress signal for a surprise attack. Of course, after we rescue a ship, we still strip them of everything they've got. Oh, yeah, anyway, there you go. If it's a trap, we'll kill everyone on board. Simple. I like it. A waste of time, if you ask me. It's a waste of time, if you ask me. Who asked you, Velvet? Oh, well, that can't be good. For them. I mean, it's fine for us. Isn't this the Corsair Scourge? Benwick, do we still have any Salatoma left? Yes, sir. If this is their full crew, we should have enough on board to treat them. Now that you mention it, don't Abbey ships usually have a bigger crew? Yep. These were all who were aboard when I hijacked the ship and made them set sail. Oh, hey. Teresa! I knew I was being reckless, but I never expected we'd run afoul of the Corsair Scourge. That is unfortunate. But you know, I'm glad we did, since it brought me to you. Okay. You seriously plan to fight in that condition? No, no. I know you've won this one. Use me as you will. Excuse me? Use you? Don't bother asking. It's a trap. Lionel Island is where you'll find Dees. Hatharian. My brother Oscar is guarding over it. Oh, that sucks. We can handle him just fine. Not anymore. You know that Oscar's acquired a powerful new art. It's formula developed by Lord Melchior. Eh. Magilu seems unimpressed. The art heightens a Moloch's power far beyond its normal limits. The effect is incredible. Normal arts don't even compare. Even were you to win, you wouldn't come away unscathed. Why are you telling us this? The art is still untested and imperfect. There's no guarantee its caster will survive the effects. That's bad. I don't want anything to happen to Oscar. If I'm your hostage, Oscar won't move against you. Huh. This will afford you a window to snatch the Therian and make your escape. Well, You're willing to betray the Abbey? Might be useful. The Abbey already betrayed her. There's nothing in this world that could ever replace Oscar. I know you can't trust me, so don't give me your medicine. I'll place my life in your hands. And collapse. Very dramatic. Just save Oscar. Lady Teresa! You're number two, remember? If That's true, what you were to her. information will be of use to us. For now, let's bring her aboard and give her the medicine. What about the other people that are all dead or dying? Well, either way, we have a trump card. I mean, I guess that's good. Mm 
nice tail. Uh, sorry. That's perfect. Good old Eisen. So, you're going to believe her story? An art that boosts a Moloch's power far beyond its normal limits. Uh-oh. Sounds like we might be in for a real fight. And she said that Melchior developed it, too. Maybe this explains why he was so intent on acquiring that Siegfried relic. If this is all true, a frontal assault might not be the best idea. But why do you think Teresa is willing to go so far to protect Oscar? Oscar is the second son of the Dragonia family. Aristocrats with ancestral ties to the Asgard royal lineage. Okay. From what I understand, he was sent to the Abbey in the hopes of strengthening his family's ties to the group. For the good of the bloodline. Happens all the time. Teresa followed into the Abbey, where she's been his constant savior, even if she's kept it from him. So she's another noble too. Could have had an easy life if she just kept in her place. No, Teresa was conceived, uh, outside of formal matrimony, and her mother was not of what you call high standing. Hmm. Well, it happens more often than you might think. Apparently, it happens my more often than you might think. And my father's wife never cared for me, so I merely served the Dragonia family as a maid. Huh. Those were dark, lonely times for me. But Oscar. Oscar was the only one who called me his sister and embraced me as family. That's fair. Does a sister need any other reason to want to save her brother? So you're back on your feet. Yeah. My sincere thanks for the medicine. I can't use you as a hostage if you're dead. Where's the Therian? In the tent? Ahead through the Baird Marsh oh. are the ruins of an ancient kingdom. There you'll find the Earth Pulse Point, along with Oscar. Um, what happened to number one? Mm -hmm. Lord Artorius took number one away from me. As it stands, I'm without the powers of an exorcist. As such, whether I live or die is for you people to decide. Once Oscar is safe, you can do whatever you like to me. Well, I feel like we could Which anyway. Wish. All of it. Huh. I feel like we could do whatever we want anyway, because you're even weaker than before. Oh, this is just going to be I a lovely little know place. This fee, but don't let your guard down for one second. I won't. I don't think you know that, Fee. Alright, I'm going to go get the thing for... Ah, it's such a waste. Alright. We're not going to go get the... Oh, cool. This is an abbey encampment. No one's stationed here now, but it's well maintained. Cool. From what I could gather, it will be approximately ten days before the next patrol stops by. That's more than enough time to find the Therian and get it off the Earth Pulse. We can rest here, too. No need to rush things. We'll find the Therian, but let's do it right. That's fair. Scholars say this island is slowly sinking and will vanish under the waves in a few hundred years. I don't get it, though. I mean, it's hard to imagine land moving as if it were alive, right? Well, have you ever experienced an earthquake, friend? Not that hard to... Not that hard to fathom. I'll send a Sylph J if anything comes up here. Have a safe trip. Thanks. Still, why would the Abbey build anything all the way out here? Earth Pulse Teresa, Point. what do you know? This island may be uninhabited now. But judging from the ruins, we can tell that civilization has flourished and fallen here many times. This island lies at a focal point of air and sea currents, as well as the flow of the Earth Pulse. That means that malevolence gathers here, too. Is that why civilization has risen and fallen here before? It is. Furthermore, the malevolence of those long-dead people still lingers here, lost and unfading. Even after so long? The more they prospered, the greater the loss of life. Normally, this sort of thing could not be ignored. Mm. The malevolence here should have been dealt with in haste. But because the Abbey is scheming to resurrect Enominat, there's no way they'd want to waste such a bounty. Bursting with malevolent juiciness, and no meddlesome people around to cause trouble. There couldn't be a more perfect spot. Huh. If there's one place they put Etherian, it's here. Fair enough. 
Lionel Island is pretty big. Make sure you're well supplied before heading out. Well, we're supplied. I'm not sure if we're well supplied. Ugh, I'm just unlucky when it comes to the amount of cat orbs I need. Find the Earth Pulse Point guarded by Oscar deep in the Teresa, Baird Marsh. Oh. It's been a while. We haven't seen each other since the throne. But that doesn't seem like so long ago to me. Not when I keep hearing so much about you. Eleanor Hume, the traitor. Uh. What of the Corsair Scourge? Nothing to worry about. I've had my dose of Solitoma. Was it as bad as you remembered it? Brings you back to when you were an initiate, doesn't it? Why did you betray us, Eleanor? Uh. When the Abbey made you a patrolling inspector, they placed great responsibility upon you. Oscar should have been the one to take on that role. He had already been selected for it. But you wanted it so very badly. Whoa. And that sweet, naive man that he is, he let you take it. I had no idea. Oscar had already been chosen? Yes. And after he passed on it, he was stationed on that dangerous island where he sustained that awful wound. And now, you accompany the monster that nearly killed him. I feel I have a right to some answers. <clears throat> My desire to save humanity has not changed. I have simply found a path different from the Abbey's. That's fair. I don't find that answer acceptable. Eh. I didn't think that you would. I know very well that you offer no compromises when it comes to Oscar. You're right. I don't. Be sure to inform your new friends of that fact. Oh. In order for me to protect Oscar, I'm going to need you all to trust me. That's all I have to say to you. I understand. Wow. Put you in your place, Eleanor. Jeez. Man. Hello. Boogie board time. In a minute. I heard that they use this island to hold exiled prisoners. Just looking at this place depresses me. I hate it here. Yeah. We can't go carelessly wandering about. This place is dangerous. I know, I know. Still, from the looks of those ruins, there used to be one impressive civilization here. I can practically taste the hidden treasure. <laughs> the punishment for tomb raiding is quite strict, you know. Think I'd be a pirate if I was afraid of the Abbey? I won't stop you from looking for loot. But if you get into trouble, don't expect us to save you. Got it? Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. It's not just here. Demons are turning up in ruins, caves, anywhere there are signs of loot. It's a tough time to be a treasure hunter, that's for darn sure. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, are you prepared for us to explore a new area, I guess? I don't really have much else to say about it. I mean, that is what we're doing. Oh. Apparently, whoa, that's creepy. So apparently that thing that I found that allows me to do the boogie board, it, um doesn't seem to work here so I'm gonna have to find another one of the what's that I'm gonna have to find another one of those at some point I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna fight this weird crustacean thing a foe worth killing all right a foe worth killing well that went horribly bad definitely not my best work And wreck. Get him. And done. Well, I mean, we took care of it. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Oh, well, he's fine. I don't know if that was the front, the back, the side. Level 48. We well, should be okay. Do not like my my up attack art. I might have to change it. I feel like it just doesn't combo well enough. Alright. Get him. Yes. More murder and mayhem and madness and monkey business. Did you ever use your other ability? All right, got I hope it. I did a good job. Hover jet boots. 
Women's shoes made for quick attacking that provide an extra extra spring in the wearer's step. I'm assuming. Wow, that was absurdly quick. At least it felt like it was. I mean, it's pretty quick this time around. Still, we can get everything. Guess we'll stay on it until we figure out what's what. Anyway, I would very, very much like to check out that weird portal thing over there. So we're going to have to go do some sort of weird fire thing to get through. Yeah. Well, that's kind of poopy. Alright, I do recall not doing well against trees. That's right, what are you looking at? You can't get to me. Why? Because I'm outside your zone of control. You're Zock. That's right. And I said Zock. I think we're going to have to hop over there and trigger whatever that fire thing is to continue our little adventure. So, let's do that. Trolley la li la. Aha. Hawk roach. Yay, we're heroes. Alright, so we're just going to casually walk back this way. We still have some leveling up to do before we're 100% ready to go, but eh, it's a start. It's an okay start. It looks like the path of splits to the left and to the right. I guess I'll go through the left path if I can first, because it's looking like a dead end, maybe? Uh-oh. And you're a uh, actual creature. Alright, so you are level 48, you are armored. And which arts are the... You're the water ones. Alright. I don't like the twin whip, so let's see what else we have as a choice. Heaven's Wrath. Let's throw that one in there. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Okay, well, we're definitely doing some damage. While they just basically stubble, stubble? Stand there while we get double haze and all sorts of other weird, crazy attacks. I likes it. I'll take the stubble double haze. And done. I can't even call that a fight. I can. I think that went pretty decent. Imagine there'd be some angry trees. What's that? I'm not even sure what that is, but apparently we're gonna have to go to the left either way. I'm just curious now. Is that like earth mana or something? Wind. Wind mana. Interesting. Or interesante. I'm gonna kick this rock in half, Hi or punch it, or whatever it is that she just did, and that was totally fine. Ow! Uh, and devour. Now that we're therianized, we no longer have to worry about anything. Power. Okay. And we said good day, sir. I'll cut down anyone in my way. Sweet. Oh, well, we're slowly climbing the old level tree or the level ladder, I guess. We're getting there. Still a bit to do before we're done. Hello. Sure, I'll take it. Just in case I get knocked down and slowed again. Alright. More and more cat orbs, bit by bit. Onward! Kinda wanna face off against the crustacean again. Ooh, it's a biggie. Is it? Alright. Lay the attack out, and... Beautiful, beautiful, yes, more and more damage. 
Hell's Claw, and you are done? So we missed. Get him. Nice devour there. Is it hot? It's just you, Moggy Lou. Come you on really now. Do have a peculiar air about you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't Ample bag. Sweet. Okay. And we have another couple mana things here. And I'm not sure what we're going to need and what we're not going to need. So that's a bit awkward. It should be pretty up. Okay. So it should be pretty obvious to start with which ones we need and which ones we don't. I suppose we could open both of them. We may need to only open one. I think I'm just going to open the mana one. We'll swap it back over to... Was it wind? Or fire? It was fire. So it must be frost and fire. I said mana, but eh. You understand. And I think they're connected on the back side of it. I could be wrong, but I feel... I feel like they're connected. Blah, 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 blah. Onward. That power number two displayed at the throne. Hard to believe he had that hidden in him. Lord Melchior said that number one was full of untapped potential as well. I have the talent to use it. Uh, uh oh. Teresa, my lady, you seem angry. Uh, me? At what? At me for running away and joining Velvet. Oh, that? I was careless. Uh, An enemy stole a tool of mine. I merely frustrated wow. at my own incompetence. A tool. I don't care what happens to me now. Not as long as I can save Oscar. I'm the one who hurt your precious brother. And you're asking for my help now? Yes, you hurt him. You scarred his face and his honor and his heart. Good. Still holding a grudge then? Well, at least you won't be able to kill me in my sleep. With no Malachim, I'm an ordinary woman. How could I threaten the Lord of Calamity? Ah, you know about that, I'm huh? painfully aware of my own weakness. Good. Try to keep out of the way then. Lady Teresa... Velvet isn't so different from you. She had a little brother, she... I know all about the Lord of Calamity, but none of that matters to me. Do you? As powerless as I am now, this is the only path for me. It's the only way I can save Oscar. I think some seriously Teresa. bad Juju Magumbo is going to go down. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time with more Tales of, ah, of Berseria. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.